infants with uh, LALD or what used to be called Wallman's disease can present with significant malnutrition, diarrhea, liver failure, and abdominal uh, distension. Now it's extremely important to make an early diagnosis because today there is enzyme replacement therapy these children historically would never survive beyond a year of age and actually the median time to mortality was approximately four months. Treatment used to be supportive, mostly following their nutrition. Historically some patients did receive a bone marrow transplant, but all of those patients have never survived. So the enzyme replacement therapy is an enzyme that's given intravenously uh, once a week with escalating dose. Currently, uh, the trials have been completed and it's awaiting FDA approval, which hopefully will be available in the market within the next few months. So I was not part of the clinical trials, but my exposure was that uh, we did diagnose a baby with Wallman's disease and were able to get compassionate use for this drug even before it was officially uh, FDA approved. So the amazing thing is my interaction with the family was that I had good news and bad news for them. The good news was that if we had diagnosed their infant a year ago, I wouldn't have anything to offer her but just watch her die over the next few months. And with this enzymatic replacement therapy that now she's completing seven months of treatment, this infant is doing remarkably well, thriving with normalization of liver enzymes and lipids. So this is a very, very important era in the world of LALDI.